Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are going to solve DSE 2014 question paper that is Delhi School of Economics Entrance Examination and part 2 which consists of questions from 21 till question 60. We have completed the previous question so now we will start with question number 44. So question 44 says there are two fair coins. Okay, so here we are talking about two coins which are fair that is heads and tails are equally likely for tosses of both. Heads have probability of half, similarly tails have also probability of half. Now coin 1 is tossed three times. Okay, so they are named as coin 1 and coin 2. Now we are tossing the coin 1 three times. Let x be the number of heads that occur. Okay, so we are noting the number of heads as x. So the maximum number of heads can be 3 as we are tossing 3 times and the minimum number of heads can be 0 that is all 3 tails came up. Now after this coin 2 is tossed x times. Okay, so now we are tossing coin 2 x times that is the number of heads coming up in coin 1. Suppose we have got 3 heads in coin 1 then we will toss coin 2 3 times and so on. Now, let y be the number of heads that we get in coin 2. Okay, so now we are also calculating the number of heads in coin 2 and noting it as y. The probability x greater than equal to 2 given that y is equal to 1 equals. Okay, so here we have, here we need the probability of x greater than equal to 2. That is x as we know is the number of heads in coin 1. So this can be either 2 or this can be either 3 given that y is equal to 1 that is we have got a head in coin 2. So let us begin with the solution of this sum. Now we need to find so let me write this here the required probability is x greater than equal to 2 given that y is equal to 1. This is conditional probability we know the formula of this conditional probability that is probability of x greater than equal to 2 this let this be notation of intersection that is both of them together divided by probability of the second term that is y is equal to 1 so basically this is our equation now as you can see here as i said x greater than equal to 2 x can be either 2 or x can be 3 so let us break this statement in two equations here we will have first let x be equal to 2 that we have got 2 heads out of 3 tosses of coin 1 and we have got y1 that is 1 head in coin 2 here plus plus because 2 situations plus means or here plus indicates or and or consists of 2 situations which cannot happen simultaneously that is as you can see here either we can get two heads or we can get three heads we cannot get two heads and three heads both together in coin one when we toss three times so we will add a plus that is either two heads or three heads so x equal to three and y remains one and in denominator as you can see we have p y is equal to one so this is possible that Either our uh, p y equal to 1 that is we have got one head in coin 2. So how can we get how uh, how many times we will uh, toss the coin 2 we can get the number from this value of x. So the value of x can be that we have got one head in coin 1 and we have also get one head in coin 2. It can also be possible that we have got two heads in coin 1 that will two times we will toss coin 2 but we will get one head that is y equal to 1 and again we can get three heads in coin 1 so that we can toss coin 2 uh, three times but there also we will get only one head as we have been given in denominator p y equal to 1 so we have three cases here first case is we can get one head in first coin similarly we can get one head in coin 2 plus we can get two heads in coin 1 and y will equal to 1 plus we can get three all the three heads in coin 1 but we will get only one head in coin 2. So basically this is our whole equation. Now let's transform this into another conditional probability form. As you can as I said here this indicates the 
intersection part that is both are occurring together so it doesn't matter if i write this first or if i write this second the meaning is same so let let us assume this to be let this be assumed as y equal to 1 comma x equal to 2 and let this be assumed y equal to 1 x equal to 3 the meaning is same and similarly in the denominator we will do the same thing and then we can write this as conditional probability here we will have y equal to 1 given that x equal to 2 multiplied with probability of x equal to 2 now how i have written this let me show it here i have written y equal to 1 given that x is equal to 2 so what is the formula of conditional probability according to conditional probability we can write this as probability y equal to 1 intersection x equal to 2 divided by probability x equal to 2 so as you can see here we have probability y equal to 1 x equal to 2 here so we will multiply this here and this is what i have written here similarly we will write for the second this one so here we will have probability y equal to 1 this is given that x is equal to 3 this time and probability x is equal to 3 and in denominator we will have the same thing 3 times and we have plus sign here so let us indicate this as summation to make the sum easier and let our i be equal to 1 and we are we have 3 values of x 1 2 and 3 so our limits will be from 1 to 3 and the equation as i have written in the numerator here we will have y equal to 1 y equal to 1 is constant as you can see in our very first statement y equal to 1 is given and the value of x is increasing so this can be written as x equal to i again probability of x equal to i so basically this is our complete equation now all we need is to put the values of this equation so let us first find all the values of this equation here first we have probability y equal to 1 x equal to 2 so this one is we have given that x is equal to 2 we need to find the probability that we have got one head in coin 2 so we talk we are causing tossing coin 2 two times and we need to provide we need to find the probability of one head that is y equal to 1 so here first in first toss we can get a head that is having probability 2 and in second toss obviously we will get a tail because we need only one head so this is a possible case or second possible case first a tail and then a head so these are two possible cases so solving this we will get half so our first value here value to this is half so let me write the values here so this will be half and it is multiplied with probability x is equal to 2 so probability x equal to 2 means two heads in the first coin so coin 1 we are tossing three times and we need two heads so it is possible that we get a head head tail a tail head head or a head tail head and each one of them have a probability of 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 similarly this is also 1 by 8 this is also 1 by 8 and we will add these three because any one of the any one of these three situations is possible and not three altogether so we need to add these three so here we will get 3 by 8 so this one is into 3 by 8 plus here we have p y equal to 1 x is equal to 3 that means we have got coin 2 we will toss this coin to 3 times because our x is 3 and here you can see in the question coin 2 is tossed x times so x is 3 means coin 2 will be tossed 3 times and since y equal to 1 that means we need 1 head so 3 times tossing and 1 head so the possible situations are head tail 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 head tail 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 head so these 3 again each one of them has 1 by 8 that is 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 and 1 by 8 we will add all these 3 and we will get 3 by 8 so here we have 
again a 3 by 8 into probability x is equal to 3 so probability x is equal to 3 as you can see is x equal to 3 means 3 heads and how is 3 heads possible total number of uh, total number of possible cases for point 1 is head 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 we have we are tossing 3 times so this is the possible cases head head tail head tail head we will have 8 cases that is tail head head these are 4 and the other 4 are tail 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 head tail head tail head tail tail and we need 3 heads so 3 heads we have only 1 case so the probability will be 1 by 8 so here we will have 3 by 8 into 1 by 8 so this is our numerator in denominator we will have the same process we will follow by the same process and find the values so you can do this yourself and to save the time of the video i have done this previously so the values we will get are 1 by 2 into 3 by 8 the previous value only as you can see we have the same value in numerator and denominator secondly will be again a 1 by 2 into 3 by 8 and the third value will be 3 by 8 into 1 by 8 that is the last value of the numerator so we have simple integers in our equation so we can solve these easily you can do this and match our answer so the answer to this will be 5 by 9 so let's check the options 5 by 9 so here we don't have so this is 5 by 9 so as you can see 5 by 9 here 5 by 9 can also be written as 10 by 18 so our answer can be 10 by 18 but as you can see we don't have any options so i think this option d is given a wrong option this should be 10 by 8 because we have done the sum correctly and our answer is 10 by 8 hence the question is has a printing mistake this will not be 11 by 18 this will be 10 by 18 and our answer will be option number d that is the correct answer so I will like to end this video here. You will find solutions to the further questions in our next videos.